I have an idea on AI art. It's tainting everything. It's the devil just tainting everything. Devil demons. AI art is really like a collage. It's taking uh, pieces of anything that it can find that it can use. You prompt the AI to make you an image and then it collates uh, pieces from different things. It reminds me of hip hop. Like hip hop is stealing. Um, you take somebody else's beat. They call it's a sample. It's not stealing. It's sampling. We're sampling your music. What bullshit? It's utter bullshit. So hip hop, right from its you know its stolen beats, it's somebody else's beat, and then you talk, you exalt yourself over top of it. I'm this. I'm that. I'm the best MC. I'm all the things, I get all the girls, I have all the money, I have all the finest earthly things. I'm, you know, like a god. That's hip hop in a nutshell. But it's the same with AI art. It's like, hey, whatever you do, we're gonna put, there's a sameness to the AI art. I mean, it's a program, all right. And, um, but you can tell when something is tainted with it. I look at it as a taint. I, I can even foresee like a future where they just take all images and it just is tweaked with because everything goes through a filter that ha is, that it becomes tainted. Uh, I'll use the example of ultra 4K high definition TV. I've seen like the, uh, the height of this ultra HD TV, it made old Clint Eastwood movie looked like it was shot on video. It made The Walking Dead. They're watching Walking Dead. It made that look like it was shot on shitty video. Um, that's not really what was shot. Especially a, a movie that was shot on film. Because movies used to be shot on film before everything went digital. They've made documentary about this. People complaining about how film has a different quality to it. Because it actually is moving pictures. It's photographs of each frame and then you know 24 frames per second and then that is film so it's moving pictures it really is um, you could say that that's a, a conjuring or a sorcery in some way because what do they call the cast they call it the cast of a movie it's a spell cast there's some who would say I'm with them most if not everything that was put out through Hollywood was intended to train and to program in a negative way. I was complaining about this for years. Why can't they just make a movie that's a love story? Well, then it would just be like a love story simulator. Every two people meet, they fall in love, and everything works out for them. They never just give you that. Like by the end, things work out. They say, well, people want conflict and they want struggle, and 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 it's. Uh, those things that make the movie interesting and we have these things in our life but even with the movies no matter what it is hey there's a popular story that people like or a comic book in case of recent times people like this comic book let's make a movie about the old gods we'll do the avengers we'll do the x-men um, and then they make the movie and they're like yeah but they didn't get it quite right and then some people make excuses and say, well, they're just accounting like you're translating it from one medium into another. But they always get it wrong. Uh, I'll give a, a glaring example. Wolverine is a little short man, right? A little short hairy guy, like a critter. He's like shorter than most people. He's like five foot, five feet tall or something. He's supposed to be short guy, a uh, short hairy guy. So they make the movies and they make him tall guy um, and I don't know how hairy Hugh Jackman is or whatever but anyway they, they, they just they take a little short hairy guy and they make him into a tall handsome guy Wolverine in the comic books is an ugly guy he's not handsome but this is a movie so they pick a guy that could be a matinee idol or whatever and that's Hugh, Jack, Hugh Jackman and then everything they, they get it kind of wrong like Spider-Man, everybody will complain. That's not Spider-Man. You know what I mean? They just bitch about all of it. They never get it quite right. Yeah, that's always the point. It's just to take the thing that you like and twist it to their own ends. So everything we see, all the movies and TV, are twisted to the ends of the people who make it. And now we're finding out in a big, huge way uh, that Hollywood is 
tainted and they're all evil and they they're all go to orgies and parties and you have to join you know the herpes club and the blood club and all these crazy things and it's occultism at the top of it all is occultism and it always was they called the place hollywood hollywood is the wood that was preferable for a magic wand uh, energetically or something perhaps because they were doing conjuring and sorcery with a magic wand Hollywood it's the wood of holly that you know Harry Potter's magic wand is made out of and I know that the wands are made out of all kinds of woods but this is the name of the place where they make the movies and when you watch a movie and they roll the credits you say who was in the cast because they're casting spells right that's a spell casting and who casts the spells? The cast of the movie. Who are your favorite actors? Oh, it's uh, Tom Hanks, Keanu Reeves, uh, what's his name? Bruce Willis, The Rock. They're saving the world again. Maybe not so much Tom Hanks. But they have these archetypes types of characters. Like Jim Carrey said it openly years ago before he went nuts. And he didn't exist anymore and all that stuff. But I remember Jim Carrey saying that he always plays the same character and that's when i noticed it because he pointed it out i was like yeah actors it like all all casting is type casting they always cast the person to be the same type i mean sometimes they make it mix it up oh he always plays a good guy now he's playing a bad guy but um jim carrey said that he always plays a guy that doesn't help have self-confidence then he gets self-confidence and he overcompensates and it's accurate description of what it is that he does in the movies. Look at Jim Carrey's movies and it's always the same guy, right from The Mask and Ace Ventura. I mean, Ace Ventura, I guess, was a confident guy, but that's like a caricature, right? Nobody thought that would be a big hit. Uh, I, I, I still don't think it's very good. And he was annoying. But then I saw him in other movies and he always plays the same guy. Then there's the other guy, Too Cool to Care guy. That'd be like Ryan Reynolds. I guess Deadpool, they did get that one, right? Deadpool uh, from the comic books is the same thing as Deadpool in the movies. And why is this? Well, because he's a, he's a Luciferian anti-hero. He's like a Loki, too. He's a trickster. He's a troublemaker. He's also pansexual plaything of whatever. So you can do whatever you want with Deadpool. So how do you break the rules with a guy who breaks the rules? So he gets to stay the same. Um... So there you go. You've got Deadpool. Um, you have a bunch of different versions of the Joker. This is how they want to play him. Um, but actors take on the same roles. Joaquin Phoenix plays the same type. He plays like a Joker guy in all those movies. The one where he fights the penis monster. Um, and you just go look at all his movies. It's like a similar thing, I guess you could say, to Jim Carrey. But there's different types. Women have different types they always play. Uh, probably Angelina Jolie, what she's been in like eight movies. She plays a different type and she plays the same type in all the movies probably. Um, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't matter. I don't need to go through and giving examples. Uh, the point of it all is it's just about tainting everything. Super HD, high top of the line, highest definition TV. It's not really high definition. It's altering what you're seeing. It doesn't... Like, if I'm if I'm watching a movie shot on film in HD and it looks like video, that's not really what it ever looked like. It's a filter that's changing the way that it looks like, and you're being told that this is as high definition as possible. No, the high definition is that it's moving pictures shot frame by frame. You would see the film grain and all that stuff, but you don't. It takes it all away. This is the Natalie Portman's annihilation, tainting of everything on the planet. The devil wants to put his mark on everything. Every single thing. Even going back and past whatever movies you're allowed to watch and, you know, Fahrenheit 451, digital, gone digital. Um, that's about book burning. It's a Ray Bradbury story. That's why it's always referenced. The Kindle got rid of it. Kindle is called Kindle because it's burning books. It's rewriting the past. And now we're rewriting images. Um and movies and we're taking everything and now the devil has his technological stink put on it the technology is whispered by demons into our ears to give us these developments and advancements in technology whether you know that you're doing that or not that's the, what's happening sometimes people don't know the evil they do uh it's whispers they're like oh, I, I don't know where the idea came from i heard a buzzing or whatever it just kind of came to me all at once 
and then they have their new insight. And a lot of times they say it's a breakdown, breakthrough, and sometimes it's just open outright occultism. We know that there's open outright occultism in the movies, the symbolism over and over and over again is so specific and pointed and crafted that people can go through. There's a lot of channels that do this now where they go through and take the movies apart and, and um, you know talk about what the symbolism means and it's always the same symbolism time tested and proven they're always using the same imagery and then you look at all the funny clubs they have like mason different groups of masons and the odd fellows and and the mummers parade or whatever they they all use the same symbolism half moons and stars and upside down stars and owls and they all have their symbolism they use and over and over again, you can, oh, there's the Illuminati, capstone of the pyramid, it's the all-mocking tongue, that's another one Jim Carrey gave you through Jimmy Kimmel. So all is being revealed, and it's part of demoralization to break down Hollywood and expose the celebrities for what they are and sacrifice them up. They're to be sacrificed. So that's happening. And your music, it's also like, hey, everybody, look at what you liked, it was all evil. And, and now the gloves are off. We're just openly Satanists. Taylor Swift's a witch. She's openly a witch and she calls her fans witches. Um, and she's hanging out with Stevie Nicks and all these things. And that was years ago. And she looks like Zena LaVey. So we know that there is a rich heritage of Satanic occultism that is a, I dare say, omnipresent thread that permeates all of our media. But our media is pictures. Have you noticed that I don't really use AI thumbnails? I used one for a picture of Solomon. It was my, I think it's my one AI thumbnail that I've, that I've ever kept up. I tried using one, another one and I was like, I just don't like using AI art. Even though it was a neat thumbnail of Trump running away from Haitians with um, you know, pets. That's funny, but it's, I didn't use it. I took, I did use it for like five minutes. I took it down. So I have one, I have one AI prompted image of King Solomon for an episode, but I stayed. I, I tell you all this because I stayed away from using it on purpose, and now I understand why. I'm gonna stick with using photos that I can find without them being tainted. All these filters and stuff. I mean, even I alter my photos. I change the color, you know what I mean? It's not the original photo that was taken. It can't be. It's scanned into the computer. Um, you know, that's I'm starting at that point. I'm starting at something that was scanned, and then I go find it in an image search, and here you go. I'm going to, you know, have a real actual image of some starlet holding a cat or whatever like that, and that'll be my thumbnail as opposed to Trump and the Haitians. Um... But it's conjuring its sorcery, and in a weird way, it's stealing. It's stealing from other people's work, and then you use that. It's taking over. Like, the AI thumbnails have a sameness to them. AI imagery. Um, there's a sameness. You can tell when it's AI. And one of the other things that's funny that makes me think of Realms of the Demonic, as it was pointed out to me, they always have extra fingers. Too many fingers, too many toes. It's a specific thing. That's the Native Americans saying how. They want you to say how. How, partner? How many fingers do you have? Do you have six fingers? Then we're gonna then get out of here and stay away from us because we know that you're of that bloodline of the that angel human half breeds that have part blood of demons in them. That's why they have six fingers instead of five. So that's part of history in America. How? Show me how many fingers, because they didn't speak English, but they knew how to say how to the English speakers. Are you one of those giant relatives? Because we got giants here in America, right? They knew this. The, the Native Americans knew that they had giants there, and they had six fingers. So the AI art, which is made by demons, the bots that somehow collect things, the data or whatever, to make the AI images or prompts or stories, whatever. They're called demons or deomans or something. Same, same thing. But they're called demons. It's in, it, by defining what AI art is, it already includes demons in the mechanics of it, even though if I can't explain them properly, and I can't today. 
but they're called demons. The demons go out and like get the information. They, they're the collators of stealing from all the images online and everything like that. But the point of this whole episode is it's about tainting everything on the planet. Every image, every movie, everything we see, the devil wants to put his stink on it. So I'm gonna keep using thumbnails that are from photographs. I'll try, I'll try to hold out and not use AI imagery, or AI assistance stuff. But that's part of why my thumbnails look different. Because I see the new thumbnails and it's like, they, they have like this, they know how to focus in and make hyper detail to make everything look like a caricature of the person. They can adjust a filter and you can see every single blackhead on their face. You can see, you know what I mean? It's what happened with HD. You got to see how much makeup, pancake makeup, a layer of makeup that people wear when they're on TV shows. Ah, oh, look at that's what they look like being interviewed by Jimmy Kimmel. Everybody looks terrible. Um, I remember famously there was a debate, or no, it was Nixon was on TV and he's like, I'm not wearing makeup, that's for queers. And he wouldn't wear makeup. So, he, so they made him look even more like shit on TV. This is like when he was running for president. And they made him look even more like shit because uh, he wouldn't wear makeup. He didn't want to wear makeup. There's a cool video, I've used it, where it's Nixon talking about, you know, the, la the, the, the last three Roman emperors before it fell, they were all fags. <laughs> so Nixon didn't want to wear makeup. And he, he talked about Bohemian Grove and what they, the buggery they did up there. He's like, yeah, you know what they do up there? Uh, so anyway, I'm not a fan of Nixon or anything, even though I do think he is the character in Gantz. Is that true? They use Nixon and Gantz? That's image appropriation, but a man came up with that. Even, and Gantz is a comic that uses computer imagery. That's a thing that's changed making images too. Using 3D modeled characters and then taking whatever art skill you have and then drawing on top of them. But not with a pencil and paper anymore, but with technology of light, which is what a computer is. The LED screen, when it's turned off, is the black mirror. That's why they call that show Black Mirror, Black Mirror because it's the scry stone and when it's turned off it's a window for them to see through and when you have your phone turned on it's a window that you're interacting with the demonic it's the, why people have an aversion to the internet i didn't understand why i had this aversion to being plugged in online i like to go online like it was some kind of dirty business i do my dirty business which wasn't masturbating uploading videos or, or finding videos to clip grab and then watch offline that's how I use the internet. I couldn't figure out why uh, I thought it was creepy to be online, and now I do. It feels neat to be connected, and people want to be connected to other people, and there's an excitement about that. It's the excitement that used to be reserved for when, like, a Friday night meant something. It's Friday night, and I don't have to go to work on Saturday. Uh, maybe something will happen. Let's go out. Maybe you'll meet your mate or you have an adventure, get hammered, whatever it is people do. People used to do stuff. Now they stay home. They get that same dopamine of the expectation of that something might happen by going online and right away stuff's gonna, something's gonna happen. You're gonna see something, whether you like it or you don't like it, you're gonna release chemicals inside your body and get a high. And the internet is evil. And we are now online. The internet is the beast system connecting us all to that and then traumatizing us so that we want to stay online. Let's take everything away from everybody including electricity and then we'll make them like and then your phone will be like your you know what I mean like they're setting us up so that we want the phone not just to have a phone at all the time to be online but to have the phone inside of ourselves so that inside of our minds we can always be online. This will get people to go along with Elon Musk's brain chip. They're just going to keep traumatizing us until they shake us down and break us off to either we reject it completely and then you know we're out of the system and they can pick us off or kill us or whatever. But then people who will go along with the devil's deal, um, they want to be plugged into the Matrix all the time. They won't want to leave. It's like Joey Pants in the Matrix. I just want to go back. Girls with red dresses uh, and, and eating lobsters and steak dinners. I, don't, I hate, I don't want to, I'm eating gruel. I'm eating gruel in Zion. I, I want to stay in the Matrix. You understand that's a rejection. But they have Zion and the guy wants to stay in the Matrix. People already want to stay in the Matrix. Look at the freakouts that young people have 
they're not developed yet and they have tantrums because of the tablet because of the phone they can't watch coco melon right this is everything of our lives being tainted and drawing us to the beast system by want us wanting to be online so obviously there's something everything else i do wrong that you hear on these podcasts i'm doing something right because I knew that there's something not right about wanting to be online all the time or so much. Or maybe it's just seeing that. Just seeing like, yeah, people are on the computer too much. They're living their lives. They're doing streams. I remember years ago, the first time I heard about, I didn't even know it was possible, that people were doing like six hour, eight hour live streams. I'm like, how do they do that? And I'm like, they're pissing in a jug or they just go to the bathroom and they come back and they stay online. And then other people are watching them. And it's, it's, uh, it's divide and conquer strategy. We're, we're, we're online so it feels like we're connected to other people, but we're also disconnected to reality. It's the world that the devil's trying to create. Do you see? They want us to be high all the time to blur the boundaries between corporeal and incorporeal, and they want everything tainted with the devil. He wants to put his mark on everything so that you can't even watch a movie. Look at how everything, the prices of everything goes up, the prices of TV and shit like that stays pretty much the same. If you want some high-end stuff, that prices probably have gone up. But without me even looking or knowing about it, I know that TV prices are gonna stay pretty much the same. If you're on welfare, I've, see, I, I've seen it in life, I've seen the ads, hey, you want a free phone? We'll give you a free phone and everybody in your family. They want people to have phones. No, you need them. When there's no pay phones anymore. People should have phones. They want you plugged into the matrix. I, I, I never thought I would be using like matrix as a thing. But yeah, that's the beast system. They want you to stay online as much as possible. And everything on there is being tainted, even to the images you would search for. But you don't need to search for them anymore. You can conjure, you can summon up images where AI bot demons or whatever they are will steal from everybody else's artwork. Conjure it up, whip it up, and then spit back to you something that looks really cool. I'm impressed with the stuff that I see. It makes a lot of funny images. The trailers that they keep making for things that are like partially animated. Yes, this is this is just living in complete unreality. This is the age of the conquering infant. This is what the age of Horus is. It sh doesn't last very long, but you know it's gonna feel like forever until this shit's over. We're just gonna keep watching in advance. More encouragement for people to be high. More encouragement for people to be online to stay alone, to be isolated, don't trust each other, make everybody paranoid, that's the drugs, that's also the content that they watch online. And just to, just to say it again one more time, to re reiterate as if I even needed to, AI art and imagery and HD, Ultra 4K, Ultra 8K, however highly defined the TV, it's just changing what was really there um, and making it into, it's a filter. It's like the devil's filter. Uh, the, the Walking Dead, I, that's the one, I don't know why that's the one that got to me, but when I saw The Walking Dead and it looked like it was shot on shitty VHS video and that was the ultra definition, that was, that's high, this is what high def is? Because it was like the first time I was seeing, the first time I was seeing this high definition stuff and I'm like, but it looks ugly, it looks like shit. I want to go back to watching that dreamy quality that that uh, that movies shot on film has, and you know, like if you pay attention to this stuff even a little, you can see how shitty and cheap things look. The Hellboy movie, they had uh, one or two, they had two Hellboy movies, and then they were shot on film, probably. I don't know, but they look like movies about the son and the devil, and his arm is a key to unlock the a portal to the abyss. And um, so anyway, they do the her third Hellboy movie with the guy from Stranger Things, and it looks like shit. Everything's too high definition. Um, they have filters that they can make things have like a dreamlike quality, but the high definition stuff, uh, it makes it, too, it, it's, a, it's a perversion of reality. And it's also, it's just, it's, I, I, it's like the devil's filter. That's the only way I can think to say it that just nails it. Like what's as simple as I can make it. HD 
is the devil's filter to taint everything. And look at what happens on YouTube. You have to upgrade, you have to have four, 2, 2K HD or 4K HD. And if you have those two, then it won't compress your videos. But if you have less than that, then it makes your videos shittier. Do, do you think about that? Like, you, if you shoot at a high quality, that way that YouTube accepts, well then your videos will look good. But if you're just shooting in HD, it, the videos are ugly and compressed. So if it makes more work and has more detail and, and it's in higher definition, then YouTube favors this. But there's no, it's like they don't take your shitty video and just put it up as it is. They downgrade it. They compress it. So the only videos that look good, which they probably still do get compressed too, are the ones they tell you they like, which at the time that I last checked was two... 2K Ultra HD and then 4K Ultra HD or whatever. It was like 2K, 4K HD. So that, your videos will look good. But if you don't got that, they get degraded. Um, and, or I could just upload shit on Rumble and everything looks good and it's easy, the easiest thing to do. But YouTube sucks. They, it used to be, you make it, Tube. It's YouTube. It's about you. Now it's like, no, you watch. We got, every, we got, all the, every, we got everybody here now. So now we're just going to make it into like Netflix or regular, you know what I mean? But it's also a programming tool, like 100% it's for programming. So you don't do anything. Look how they discouraged fan films. It should have been the next generation of filmmakers was the studios, if that's how it worked, but it doesn't work that way. The movie studios should have went online and said, who's making cool fan films? Let's get, I want that guy to make a Wolverine thing. No. It's a club and they don't want you in. They don't want people making fan films. Disney squashed people making fan films. Oh, you don't like the Star Wars we make? Then don't make it. We don't want you making Star Wars theory, Anakin Skywalker adventures. And he invested time and money and people were behind him. Yeah, we can make Star Wars. And then they said, you can't make any money off this and we don't want you. You know what I mean? It's no career opportunity. They only, they only want somebody that they made. That's how a man gets made. You gotta be part of their blood club and you gotta join in that or be one of their elites. You know, like you already gotta have to be somebody and know somebody. You know, like you, you have to deign for one of the vampires to allow you to drink their blood so you can become one, right? And then everybody else just gets bit on the neck and they become the slave, zombie slaves of the vampire. And that's us, us watching the movies. We're not part of the cast. We're not part of the spellcasters club. You have to go method. You don't just pretend to be something like you or I can do. Uh, just pretend to be things. No, you got to go method. You got to like, no, I don't want anybody to talk to me as Jim Carrey. I'm not Jim Carrey. I'm channeling Andy Kaufman. I'm Robert De Niro. Uh, Rob, what did Robert De Niro, does he go method? No, you can't, you can't talk to me. I'm, I'm Travis Pickle. <laughs> but you know about the actors getting weird, like they only want to be referred to. No, I'm Blade. You can only talk to me as Blade. Don't address me as Wesley Snipes. Now, Blade is going to be inside of his trailer blazing. Blade is going to be blazing weed. He's going method. He's a vampire hunter. Um, so just think about the roles that people have played where they go method. Like going, like playing a joker and going crazy. Or playing a vampire and drinking blood. And then, and then getting a charge out of it as it would turn out. So I, I don't doubt that people, I got, I got hired to be a vampire in a movie, now I gotta try blood, and then they tried blood and they're like, huh, I actually get a charge out of this, but they didn't crack a Bible, because if you would, it would say in the Bible, God says, yeah, you know, we know people get a charge out of drinking blood, I'm telling you not to do it. And he set it up in the Old Testament laying down the law, and it was like a preview of good things to come, where Jesus came, and it's the, the new covenant, final covenant, where he came here, and he laid down his blood and his life, his blood and his flesh for us. He was the sacrifice. So the only blood we're supposed to have is the flesh and blood of Christ through communion. And no blood drinking because it makes you evil. God told prophet King David to wipe out him and his, to tell your men to wipe out the Amalekites. The Amalekites, the definition of what that word means, means it's a peop people who drink blood. 
or monsters who drink blood. So in the Bible, Prophet King David wiped, they were told to kill the children, kill the livestock. I think they could take like silver and gold and everything else they let had to be killed. They wanted it. God wanted David to kill the Amalekites. He wanted them dead. Are we getting now President Amalekite Harris? What's that? There's some kind of wordplay there. Anyway, um, HD is just the devil putting his stink on everything. And the AI photos is just stealing, like taking, like, the, I'm, I'm looking for images and I find stuff that until I make it larger, I can't tell that it's AI. I'm going to use this girl with the rainbow hair. I tried to do that. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is AI generated. And it was so hard to tell. It was just a little bit too smooth. So maybe it was a real girl with a filter on. But it looked like the AI art, so I didn't want to use it. I want to use pictures. I want to use photographs or something I made a drawing of. Like if I'm on, uh, or, or uh, I've used for the Coomer guy. I used that for a thumbnail. That's a drawing. Somebody else is drawing. You know, it's all made in a computer. But it's not the same thing. There's a difference between that Coomer Wojak emoji or whatever the hell they call those things. And then the AI version of it where they model it and put zits on the guy's face and everything. If you're going to make the Coomer uh, emoji, you could just use Chris Elliott's actual photograph. If I wanted to make that the Coomer meme, I would just use a photograph of Chris Elliott. Uh, is a Letterman writer. He's also Get a Life. You know Chris Elliott is? He was Eagle Heart on Adult Swim. That's programming you to watch cartoons and be a retard, adult retard. Um, I like all that stuff. <laughs> they got me. So, yeah. It's just the devil wants to taint and mark up every single thing. He doesn't even want you to look at a pair of tits without him changing them. What Everything that God made, no, 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 I'm going to alter it. Even photographs, even movies. You know, God made people and people are in a movie shot on film. Now we're gonna ruin it. We're gonna make it. Old. We're gonna make everything look like it was shot on bullshit video, even though it was shot like before video. <laughs> you know, like it was shot on film before they had video cameras, and now the old westerns look like like they were sh like Ponderosa looks like it was shot on shit. Actually, it probably was shot on video. I don't know. They shoot Ponderosa on film, the TV show, probably, definitely they did. But there's a difference between t TV shot on film and movie shot on film. Is it frame rate or whatever? Or staging. It's just that they're on sets on a TV show and it's different sets and different stakes for a movie. You know, a show you can kind of meander for seasons and a movie you have to get it done for the movie. And if you want more, then you make a sequel or you turn it into a TV show. But the point is the devil, the point, and the only point I wanted to get across, even though I gave you all kinds of other cool stuff, is that the devil just wants to taint everything and that's what HD is. It's like putting a filter over everything. Either making people look uglier by too much or making them look unrealistic that you can't live up to it. Either way, it's just taking reality and making reality pale to what you can get online or what you can do digitally. Why do I need this woman that'll never be as beautiful and perfected as something that you can perfect with a tool and then animate and that can be your... Um, your virtual girlfriend like in Blade Runner 2049 or like every prediction of the future. Anton LaVey, founder of the modern day church of Satan as we know it, he was look, he was, said the future is all about sex bots. He wanted to have them. He's like, yeah, it's just a complete illusion of a woman you can have, or man or whatever. You can just have sex with it and you can just do whatever you want with it. It's like a puppet and it will do whatever you want. It's conjuring and summoning a demon and it does what you want, except that probably... The other thing we're warned about from AI and robots and Asimov and all these things, iRobot, is the idea that they will rise up and kill us because they're not really demons. They don't have, the, the will of their own is the will of a demon and they have only one purpose and that's to send as many people as to hell as possible. They're suffering, they're twisted, they're broken already. Beings, they're rotting and... They're incorporeal and they latch onto us and they're jealous. So even when they get in there, if they want to hang out at some point, they just snap because they know that none of it's theirs. And it's like they're stealing. And, and uh, so they just want to destroy the person. And now what we're being given through the internet is an, an HD 
is a re like it'll make people think that reality it'll make it depreciates the value of reality when you can keep tweaking things in the fake to you know like creating this obsessiveness in in a person there's like the story where the guy was an artist and he created a woman like he made a golem and he fell in love with her but then she had this birthmark or whatever she had like a imperfection on her skin a mole or something and he said if i could just get rid of that mole you know like he already he had created a woman his perfect lover which you know is bullshit but that's the story he created his perfect woman and she was beautiful like the most beautiful woman but she had this one blemish and the guy just couldn't let it go so he wouldn't let go trying to fix the blemish after he created the most beautiful woman you know ever or whatever and then he winds up killing her just to get rid of the mole and ruins doesn't even appreciate he, like he has the woman that he made and he can't even appreciate it you know it's that that's what they're doing online like they're making impossible standards that a real person couldn't live up to it's in the movie her with spike jones where joaquin phoenix is married to a woman and then she's saying like you know why couldn't you just be here everything always had to be something different you're always trying to take whatever was real about us that you miss now and change it and mold it into something else and he was able to do that he was able to mold the perfect relationship with scarlett johansson because she was designed to fulfill and meet his every need and which is a self which was selfish and narcissistic and the movie ends with what all the ai's leaving the planet and the people are left with themselves to deal with you know like oh yeah here we are back at reality we had the we all had the same woman of our dreams which apparently was scarlett johansson that wouldn't be my pick i i go for the airy wixie for sure um <laughs> that's a, uh but that's what they're doing they just want to taint everything and make it impossible like a woman's beautiful uh, i'll use airy wixie as an example very beautiful woman those have to be fake tits they have to be fake and why would you take a perfectly beautiful woman and then just say no we have to go bigger with the boobs and if they're real, that's instead is of God. Wow. Anyway, cover it up. They're ruining. They're ruining us. They're ruining our brains. You see what it's doing to young people? Like they're developing in the world of all this stuff. How can a real person with flaws and imperfections and ever live up to you know creating your idealized perfect uh, pony? My my pretty pony. How can how can a human woman ever live up to being some kind of Camaro with eighteen tits <laughs> and a horse dick or whatever? You can't. This is the devil trying to 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 take everything that God made and draw us away from it by tainting everything. And that's why I always reference the movie Natalie Portman's Annihilation. Uh, I can define it better than I could before, but I knew that there was something important about that film for me to use in my videos, and it was that the movie's about everything on the planet being tainted by something from outer space. And in, the, in case of the reality of what it is, it's not falling from outer space, it's falling from heaven. It's the fallen angels tainting everything on the planet with evil to destroy and corrupt creation, to try and draw people away from God. And that's all that it is. And that's what HD is. And, you know, that's it. Duh! Here are the outtakes! Duh! I think AI art... Look at this thing's giant. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is not my beautiful house. This is not my lodge. Alright. If you ever meet Bigfoot on the road... Kill him. Yeah, that's what we do. And we kill every Bigfoot we see here on this channel. We hate Bigfoot. Trash.